Hey guys, long time no see. I received a lot of requests to make newer version of Blurry Textures Fix. It's nothing brand new, but this method is much more convenient and consumes much less time in general. Thanks to all of you who are improving this method a lot. Special thanks to this guy. So let's do it. Click on the object and open the material instance. Find parent material and locate it. Duplicate material, rename it. Open new material. You have to locate all textures one by one. You can do it with double click. Duplicate first texture. Add VT postfix. Open texture find stream and check virtual texture streaming. Save texture. Repeat the same process for each texture. Now you can quickly change old textures with new VT ones. Save material. Almost done. Now all you need is just change parent material and here you go. Yeah, simple as that. Congratulations again. And I have another bonus fix for you guys. You may have troubles with plants as well, it's not so simple, but I'll try to help you. The start of process seems familiar. Find material, duplicate it. If you already make a VT version of texture you can use it in these steps as well. Repeat for all textures. And here you can see difference. We got an error, we can't use VT texture for opacity attribute. So I find a way to resolve this error. Locate ORT file, find non-VT version of texture. Add it to material. Convert to parameter. Connect red channel to multiply node. Save material. Change plant material to VT1. Texture looks fine, but mask not working, let's fix it. Activate new parameter. Browse folder with original plant textures. Duplicate green texture which used as original ORT. Open texture. Disable virtual streaming and save it. Add new non-VT texture as new ORT parameter. Tatum.
Oh, it was not easy, I know. But you made it. As always. Cheers.